Just wait for a couple of people to jump on. <clears throat> so when you jump on, just say hey and where you are in the world. I'm still in Portugal um, here until Saturday. And then I head to London for a couple of days. And then I'm flying to Cyprus and then I fly to Santorini for a photo shoot and then I fly to Barcelona for I think five days and then back to Australia. Um, so yeah, say hello and where you're from. Sometimes Facebook's telling me there's there five people on um, but doesn't sometimes tell me everyone's name. Um, hey Evelyn, um, hey Carly, hey Michael, how are you guys going? So I wanted to do a live stream today about why most people don't achieve their goals being New Year's, perfect time of year for it. Um, and I'm also um, getting my assistant to transcribe some of these live streams as well. So then we can have these in written form in blogs and um, posts and little snippets um, <clears throat> as well for you guys. Um, I, I don't like, um, I don't like writing very much. I, I do when I'm in the mood for it. Um, hey, Justine. Um, hey, Dan. Uh, I do like writing when I'm in the mood for it, but I'm better at speaking. Um, and so that's why I'm focusing on my strengths. Yeah. So good tip for you guys there. Um, so first of all, before I get started, I want you to pop down what what's the main area that you want to focus on over the next year? Is it business? Is it relationship? Is it um, is it health? Like what, um, what area is it that you want to focus on? <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Um, hey, Jake, how are you? Uh, so what is the area that you want to focus on and what is your biggest goal in that area for 2017? Awesome, Carly. <clears throat> yep. Business growth, but what specifically Carly? Awesome, Jamie. So once you've written the area that you're focusing on, guys, write down what is your number one biggest goal. So, hey, Belle. So by the end of 2017, where do you want to be? Do you want to be earning? Is it about earning? So if it's growth, yeah, is what, what does growth mean to you? Is it about earning a certain amount of money? So do you want to earn 100 grand, 200 grand, 500 grand? A million, two million, what's your number? <clears throat> Come on, guys. <laughs> Don't be shy. So just write down how much you want to earn by the end of the year. Hey, Mandy, how are you going? Um, so mine, mine's a million, guys, so you know. Hey, Kat. Awesome, Michael. There we go. Someone being specific. <laughs> um, Carly, earning over 150K. Awesome. Jake, 10K comfortably per month. Awesome. Jamie, 1400 a week. Awesome. Awesome, Dan. Cool. So we know what area you want to focus on and you know how much you want to be earning. Now, obviously it's not just about how much you want to be earning. There's a reason why you want to earn that. So I want you guys to comment now, why do you want to be earning that much? How would that change your life? Yeah. Each stage that I've gone through in my business, there's been a different reason behind it. I talked about this a bit more in a, another live stream. Um, so I won't go into it too much, but basically when I started out, it was to create a better life and lifestyle for myself and my family. Once I had a better lifestyle, it then became more on fulfillment, like what made me feel good. And then after that, now it's more about contribution. It's about transforming people's lives at a deeper level and helping more people around the world. Awesome, Jazz. Um, so, uh, Jamie said, support my family and our goals. I would like to be a successful working mom. Awesome. Hey, Tanya, how are you going? So anyone who's jumped on partway through, writing down what's the one area you want to focus on, main area you want to focus on in 2017. Keep going to say 2016. Um, and how much do you want to be, uh, if it's business and business growth, how much do you want to be earning by the end of 2017? 
Um, Jake said, you said it better lifestyle for me and my family. Awesome. Perfect. So, um, Carly said, Jamie nailed it. Awesome. So the reason I ask these questions guys, and I love, I'm loving the interaction. So keep that going. And any, um, any questions or comments you have throughout, just post in the comment section as well. And I'll answer any questions, whether it's about this or about anything else. So basically a lot of people don't reach their goals for a number of reasons. And I'm going to cover some of those today. The first one is they don't have clarity on what they want and they're not specific enough. See how a lot of you guys before, you either didn't know what area it was straight away or you knew the area, but you didn't know it was like business growth. Yeah, that's really vague. It's like what business growth means to one person can be totally different to the next person. It's like what specifically does business growth mean to you? Okay, it's making a hundred grand a year. Awesome. That's very specific. Yeah. Why do you want to make that hundred grand? How will it change your life? Because if you're just plucking some number out of the air because it sounds nice or because that's what it means to be successful, then you're not going to not only you, you might start working towards it, but you'll very easily fall off track and you won't keep moving forwards. You've got to know the lifestyle that you want to live. Work out exactly how much that lifestyle is going to cost you. Then you've got your reason why. Yeah. You, it might be 92,000 or it might be 106,000 or it might be 232,000. You've got a very specific number based on what your goal is and your reason why. So, hey, Danielle, how are you going? So you need to know exactly what you want and be specific instead of vague. And then you need to know why you want it and then how you're going to get it. Okay. Um, does that make sense so far, guys? Does anyone have any questions around that? So that's obviously, I'm kind of brushing over that, but it makes sense. Um, and it's not something I feel I need to go into too much. You guys are all pretty smart human beings. Um, so if you've got any questions on that, just let me know. Um, Dan said, great word of words of wisdom. I need to rethink. Yep. Makes sense. Awesome. Yep. So for example, as well, a lot of people want to make a hundred grand or they want to make a million or they want to make some big number, but they haven't done the groundwork to get to where they want to be. Hey, Renee. So you need to get to 50K first before you get to 100K. You need to get to 500K before you get to a million. Yeah. And you're just using numbers, for example, but this can relate to anything. Most people want this big, massive goal, but they don't want to do the milestones and take those smaller steps to be able to get there. I can say and 100% belief in myself that I will make a million dollars this year because I've been in business for six years. I've had multiple businesses. I've done a lot of work on myself. I've spent over $200,000 on business development and mindset. I've done a lot of courses. I've had multiple mentors. I have got a very strong mindset and I've worked very hard on myself for six years and I don't procrastinate. I don't put things off. I take action. It's just natural for me. I have a good following. I know what I need to do. I have a clear plan and I've minimized distractions and simplified and got team in place so that I can hit my goals. Okay. If you don't have all of that in place, if you're just starting out, don't aim for a million. Don't aim for a hundred grand. Take those smaller steps first so that you've got the foundations in place to be able to get there. And this is this was me years ago when I first started out in business as well. I wanted to make a million dollars really quickly, but I didn't have the knowledge. I didn't have the mindset. I didn't have the skill set. I didn't have the following. I hadn't built a following yet. You've got to put the foundations in place to then be able to get reach those bigger goals. Um, not only that, yes, you can have quick wins, but some other things take time to build up. And it's not about just clicking your fingers and wanting it all now and being impatient. You've got to do the work day in, day out, be patient, but do the work so that it will build up and become easier over time. Um, Justine said 100k a year will give my family the security and lifestyle we want now and to set us up for further in the future. Awesome. Love that. Um, so, hey, Tanya, how are you going? 
Uh, so the next step from there is, or, or the next reason why most people don't reach their goals is they, hey Ria, is they don't know how to get it. They don't have a plan. Okay. And so, for example, when you're writing out your goals, you could, if you know what your goals are and you, you write out like a heap of different things. So say the goal, for example, is to make a hundred grand in 12 months time. Yeah. In your business. Um, so if you know that you want to make a hundred grand, you've got to set a plan in place to be able to achieve that. Okay. And it's not just, okay, well, I'll sell X number of this at this price. Yeah. That's a good start. But it's like, okay, who's my ideal client? What is the message that are and the things that I want to help them with? What's the outcome that they want to get? And then what do I need to sell to be able to make a hundred thousand? Yeah. So it's X number of X program to be able to make a hundred thousand, or it might be multiple offerings and that's fine as well. You don't want to have too many different things though. So that's, that's your, it's, I guess, not the whole plan, but it's the first step. Okay. And then from there, it's like, okay, well, how do I get those people into that program? Well, you've got to give value. You've got to put out consistent content. You've got to help them overcome their struggles and show that you care and build rapport. Um, and you've got to talk to people and take action every day. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, I just signed up nine people to my six figure system program and it's almost full, uh, starts at the end of January. And the reason I signed up nine people so quickly is because I had a clear plan. I got rid of any other distractions, anything else. And I've just focused on this. Okay. Other sales have come in from other things, but I haven't actively been putting myself out there for those other things. My sole focus is on six figure system at the moment. Um, because I know that's going to help people the most. Yeah. And so with that, I've been doing regular live streams to give value. I've been talking to people one-on-one. -on -one. I've been putting regular posts up that talk to my target market struggles and the outcome that they want. I've been emailing my list. I've been doing Facebook ads and um, I've got my free ebook, which is um, around getting you to 10K a month, consistent income months. Um, if you don't have it, just either pop your email address here or PM me and I'll send it out to you. Um, and I've been talking to current clients as well who've upgraded. So that's, that's the exact actions that I need to take to reach my goal and to reach out and help more people change their lives and get faster results. Yeah. So you got to, you got to have that initial plan and then you've got to break it down into the action steps that you need to do to be able to get there. And you've got to give yourself a deadline as well. Yeah. And be really specific with the action steps. Does that make sense, guys? Before I move on. Just give me a yes or comment with any questions. Got a like, cool, awesome. One person's on track. <laughs> um, Justine said yes as well, awesome, thanks guys. So, awesome, Renee. So from there, and if you've jumped on, awesome, Dan. Um, so if you've jumped on partway through, um, make sure you watch the start of this as well, guys. Awesome, Jamie. Awesome, Jake. Uh, so the next thing is people then can, people can either be too vague or they can be too detailed. Okay. So like at the start of this conversation, it's like, oh, I want business growth. Yeah. It's too vague. But other times people can be too detailed. They can have so many different goals. Like this comes up in two forms. Yeah. They're either so detailed on one goal where it's like, I want to make a hundred grand and just use this as an example. I want to make a hundred grand and I need to do this, 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 this. Yeah. Just all these different things. And it's just way too detailed. You need to keep it simple. So many people are trying to do it. And this leads into this as well. So many people are trying to do a million different things over complicating the whole process keep it simple. Hey Raj. Um, so simplicity is key. I've just got rid of a heap of stuff so that I can get faster results. I'm working way less. Hey Melissa. Um, I'm working way less 
that I have, like I'm overseas at the moment and working a few hours a day, but I'm making a lot more money than I ever have. Like I've had months like this before, but not with this little amount of time. And it's just happening with ease and flow because I've got rid of any other distractions in my life. Okay. Uh, the other day I got rid of over 300 Facebook friends. I got my e email inbox to zero. There were over 1100 unread messages in there. Um, when I get home, I'm going to declutter the house, get rid of any old clothes that I am just holding on to for God knows why. Um, get rid of any books that I don't read or don't need. Um, get rid of any clutter and paperwork around my house. So I'm doing this with um, with physical things, but I'm also doing it with like digital things as well. Yeah, we spend so much time online and that's cluttered as well. So you want to surround yourself, like just simplify. And by getting rid of these things, we allow space for more new things to come in. You also want to surround yourself with the right people. Surround yourself with positive, like-minded people who are on the same path as well. Um, but going back to being too detailed, it's just really about simplicity and focus. Okay. Um, and what was I going to say around that as well? can't remember. So just going through the steps again so far, it's getting really clear on what you want and not being vague about it. Um, so the example was business, the area is business. Um, and then it's uh, make 100 grand in the year. Then it's why do you want that? And then it's what's what is the plan to achieve that? And then from there, it's about simplicity and action steps and focus. Yeah, does that make sense, guys? And, and your environment as well. So environment equals your success. The environment is your physical environment, but it's also the people that you spend your time with as well. You need to be clear on who you spend your time with. If people are being negative, if people are dragging you down, if you're surrounded by people who are not making any money in their business, who aren't serious about their business, then that's going to be your reality. Same with other goals as well. I know there's some people on here who aren't in business. Um, you might have health and fitness goals. If you surround yourself with people who um, just sit in front of the TV all day, never get outside the house, eat takeaway all the time, drink, smoke, do drugs, whatever it is, that's going to be your norm. That's going to be your reality. This happens in any part of your life. And remember, all parts of your life are connected as well. So if you're doing super well in one area, but all the rest is has gone to shit, then it's not going to help. Yeah. Hey, Stacey. So what's really important, like going back to that business goal, for example, is you need to have like one main focus and just have 100% laser focus on that area. But you can't have everything else go to shit as well. You need to be eating well. Hey, Scott. Um, you need to be eating well, you need to be exercising, you need to be spending time on, on yourself, you need to have balance in your life, but it doesn't mean that you've got major focus in all those areas. For example, for me, when I had two businesses a couple of years ago, um, it was too much. I was doing content and marketing and sales and admin and management of clients and client value for two businesses. Once I finally let go of my fitness business, and it was hard to do because I did love it and had amazing clients. Um, once I let go of that, I ended up tripling my business in three months, my business coaching business, once I let go of the fitness one. I ended up then 10 times in my business in a year and a half. Simplicity, guys. Um, the What else was I going to say about that? Oh, another example, last year, I had big focuses in a lot of areas. So I was really focused on my business. I wanted to improve my relationship and my, my family. Um, I was competing in powerlifting and I wanted to lose weight. And I had a lot of travel and personal development as well. So my business did really well, um, but it was a lot more manual than it had to be. And there was a lot of things that didn't uh, that I need to get done that I kind of put to the bottom of the list because I was doing other things. Um, I did a lot of travel, but that kind of threw me out of routine, threw me out of whack. I worked on my relationship a lot and we're amazing and so much better than we've ever been. 
and I do spend a lot more time with my kids, but I can still be improving that on um, working less in the business. Uh, my powerlifting, I did really well, uh, but I now have a hernia in my, in an umbilical hernia, which I need surgery on. Um, so I'm not powerlifting over the next year or so. And, um, I found it really hard to fit all this stuff in, to be competing at a national level for powerlifting, to be traveling, to be working on my business and working on my family. It's hard. It's very tiring especially when I was lifting it really heavy weights. Yeah. Now I go to the gym three times a week for about an hour, an hour and a half instead of like four or five times a week for two to three hours each time. Um, and I can still pull a 140 kilo deadlift without even doing anything leading up to it. So I'm pretty happy with that, with that baseline. Um, and that's not my main focus. I, I want to focus on getting my gut health um, better because I've had a lot of gut issues and then I can lose weight. The biggest thing I didn't achieve last year was I didn't lose any weight. I put on weight. I've put on like 17 kilos or something in the last three years. Um, so it's like you can't have everything as your number one priority. You can have balance in different areas of your life but you can't have multiple number one priorities. It doesn't work. Hey, Louise. So Justine said, having OCD, I'm constantly decluttering. Problem is I constantly find something else to declutter. Um, so Justine, it, it's like, just, it's fine, um, it's fine doing that. And it's fine decluttering. Hey, JC. Um, it's so it's fine decluttering, but also in in knowing if you've got OCD or or people who aren't like clinically have OCD, but they say, and I'm not saying this is you, Justine, but you know a lot of other people say, oh, I'm so obsessed with things, or or um, also people use procrastination and perfectionism as excuses as well. Um, not saying you're using this as an excuse, Justine, but I'm saying for other people who they don't actually have that as a clinical diagnosis, um, you've got to be clear. Hey, Chad, I'm hopping off here in a sec, Chad, and going to call you for your phone call. Um, I'm not late for Chad, by the way, guys. I was waiting for him to get home, and so I thought I'd do this in the meantime. Um, so basically... You want to make sure that you're doing things in the right time, okay? Have clear time frames around when you do things. So if you are spending the day when you're supposed to be working and you're spending the day clearing the house um, or doing things that aren't going to help you reach your goal, then you've got to look at why you're doing that and work on that, yeah? So you've got to be 100% focused towards the goal and when you're in your working hours, you work. And when you're not in your working hours, then you be present with your family or you spend time on yourself or you do whatever you want to do. It's having that discipline around the hours you work. And if you're in business, you don't have to work certain hours. It's not a nine to five job. You choose your hours. If you want to work 10 hours a day, work 10 hours a day. If you want to work two hours one day, five hours the next and 10 hours the next, it's fine. Do whatever you want to do. Create your life around the lifestyle that you want and the, the, the goals that you want as well. I know for me to make a million dollars next year, uh, sorry, this year now, um, I knew that I couldn't do that in the time frame that I wanted to do it in by myself. I have an assistant working 30 hours a week, but I knew I couldn't do it as fast as I wanted to without working a heap of extra hours. And that would take away from my family. If I was single and had no kids, sure, I, I would work every hour of the day. I love it so much. Um, probably not healthy, but I, I do. Um, so I realized I had to put team in place. I've got my assistant. And I've got more of her role, um, uh, her roles kind of restructured moving forwards. And then I've got an IT guy, I've got a marketing guy, and I have a copywriting person as well. Yeah. So to be able to make that, I have to have these things in place and have systems and simplify what I'm doing to be able to reach my goal as fast as possible. So with you guys, if you can't put team in place yet, that's totally fine. Automate and systemize stuff. 
maybe get a cleaner to come in and pay 40 or 50 dollars a week um, or a fortnight to take that off your hands think about decluttering around your house to simplify things don't offer a million different programs or a million different um, services or products or offerings simplify that get rid of any clients who aren't worth your time and sucking your energy and just aren't doing the work and aren't committed yeah um, simplify as much as possible so you have time you can reach your goal as fast as you want but you also have time to have a life as well um, so I'm just going to read Justine's que uh, comment in a second but before I go does anyone have any questions or comments and if you jumped on towards the end of this then just watch the start later on and as I said at the start, I'm going to be getting my assistant to transcribe some of these as well. So it's laid out in like step by step. Um, and, and if someone's better at reading, it's all kind of laid out for you rather than on a video or live stream. Um, so Justine said, my best way to manage this is schedule. Everything can be disciplined with that. That's how it works for me. Yes, perfect. Awesome. Discipline, Louise, and for anyone else who struggles with that, just comes down to, hey, Maura, Discipline comes down to knowing what you want, like I said before, knowing what you want, knowing why you want it, and being 100% focused on that. It's like, what is it costing you, holding you back right now? Is it costing you stress? Is it costing you a relationship? Is it costing you your health, your weight? Is it costing you um, being present with your kids? Is it costing you um, lack of confidence and chaos and um, not really being able to show up and help people in the way that you want to help them is it costing you not being able to travel or have the lifestyle that you want stressing about money and paying your bills like seriously you've got to look at the things that are holding you back your excuses your objections your struggles and think about your goal and how badly you want it and if you want it badly enough you'll find a way to make it work and this is where mindset comes in as well, guys. You've got to have the mindset to succeed. You've got to let go of the negative limiting beliefs that hold you back and put positive empowering beliefs in their place so that you can move forwards. Does that help, Louise? I know I've been drilling that into you, yeah? Let go. Let go so you can move forwards. The world needs you. Any other questions before I go, guys? So if you're not already in my free group, I've got a community of kick-ass action takers. Just um, just search it on Facebook. If you haven't got my free ebook, it's how to get to 10K a month as quickly as possible or, or consistently, it's called something like that. Um, but yeah, if you want to get to 10K a month as quickly as possible or multiple, um, multiples of that then um just comment here with your email address or pm me and i'll send that out to you as well um but yeah if you jumped on towards the end have a watch of the start um it's really it's about all those things that i mentioned and it's just about having a hundred percent belief in yourself and surrounding yourself with positive like-minded people that help you reach your goals and lift you up so that you can continue moving forwards a lot of people get so excited about the planning phase of the the goals um, and they might do it for a week or two but then they just can't be bothered in doing the hard work and being disciplined to actually reach the goal you've got to be excited and give yourself incentives and things to look forward to every step of the way it's not just about reaching the goal it's about the journey so get excited about that and get excited about the things that you do every day that lead towards that goal not just the end result um, Louise it's up in our group if you look in the file section of PT mastermind um, but if you can't find it let me know and I'll tag you um, loving the new members site so much helpful info awesome thanks Louise I'm adding more um, trainings for you guys um, soon as well Louise is one of my clients for anyone else <laughs> um, awesome so I'm gonna head off now I've got to talk to someone um, on the on the phone um, but yeah if anyone's watching this afterwards and has any comments or questions just let me know um, uh, or if you came on halfway through and watching the start feel free to ask me any questions anytime either on here or send me a personal message 
Um, just get really, really clear on what your goals are, why you want them, put that plan in place and work on your environment and your mindset to be able to achieve them and simplify and focus, guys. Okay, so good luck with that. Let me know if you need any help in reaching your goals. Happy to have a chat or answer any questions you've got. Have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll talk to you soon.